ScreenFlow has some new mouse pointer options and I just wanted to show off what you could do with some of those. This is something that you could have done before, just have your mouse pointer moving around. They have their radar effect, which I think is just a little bit much. I think the radar is just a bit much for me. But now there's the new invert. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the invert. And there we have it. It's just black going to white. That's kind of cool. You can also pick to have a circle or a square. I'll show the circle. And I think the circle should probably be about 50%, give or take. And now when I play it, it's still set for invert. And we will notice that when you click, it goes from white to black. Pretty cool. But what if I want my own images? I'm going to set the opacity back up to 100%. And I could choose my own image. Here, I'm going to have a red arrow. And I could go ahead and play with that red arrow. And there it is. It's also set for invert. I can, of course, set it to use radar. And if I set it to use radar, when we click, of course, it will use radar. Well, I still think that radar effect is a bit much. And I think that that arrow, because it's standard size, has a few jaggies in it that I don't like, when, especially when you zoom in on it, do things like that, the jaggies show up. So I came up with this as a fix. I went and I created red arrow huge. And now that's twice as big but I could set it down to 50%. Now the arrow is about the same size. I still have the radar, but the radar is also shrunk down to about 50%. So when I click on it, the radar effect is not nearly as much, and I like that. I like having it where it's a little bit more subtle. I have a number of other ones. I'm going to set this back to 100%. A number of other ones which I've created, and they're free for anyone to use. Flashlight with a crosshair. I'll just show off that one. Then I'll show off oh, maybe one or two others. But there we go. I have a flashlight moving around, zooming down. You could, of course, make your own. Have a flashlight shining further away or from a different angle. I have same idea as a laser pointer. There's also just a crosshair to get real precise, a sort of silly one, this rip and our tear in the screen. Star Trek fans, there's one there. There's also, if you want to have an arrow and a highlight, and you could always change the color of the arrow if you have any experience with, um, with graphics programs. I'm going to switch this back to 100%. And I can go ahead and look at that arrow and, and it has a little bit of a yellow highlight again might make it easier to see and then one that I was just playing with having a little bit of fun with is if I go to the magnifying glass it's a magnifying glass okay that looks okay I guess but where it really becomes cool is if I click over here to the callout actions I'll go back to the very beginning and add a callout action stretch it out to be the full size maybe set my opacity to be not so much, maybe about 50%, and zoom up to about 200%. Now, when I go ahead and I play this, it looks like I have a magnifying glass looking at everything I'm doing. That's pretty cool. I thought that was a kind of a fun one. I don't know if I'll use that in any real videos, but it's a sort of fun one to play around with. Good luck playing with these, and if anybody has other ideas, they could send them to me, and I could try to put them together. Or if you want to put your own together, I'll host them on my website, and we could have a little collection of these.